Hey guys, the little Mungus has here. Coming back with part three of Let's Play Chess Titans. Now this time I have a strategy. So first I start by un unleashing my bishops as soon as possible and going after the enemy's bishops. So as you can see, uh, we've both lost our bishops. Well, one of them. And yeah, let's unleash the knights. And there's this thing in Chess Titans that you can make the king and the rooks switch places. And just like this. You always try to get your rooks close to the center whenever possible. And then let's put our pawns in a zigzag triangle pattern so that they can defend each other. Now we're gonna have to watch out for this knight because the way knights move can be pretty unpredictable. Now, right now their knight can take out these two pawns. Uh, if it takes out this pawn though, it'll be uh, taken out by my rook. If it takes out this pawn, it'll be taken out by one of these other pawns. So we're pretty safe right now. So let's just move our pawns forward. Well, they have this um, knight to defend it. But I can use my knight to take their pawn out. And then, right now the queen doesn't seem to be in any danger after taking the knight out. Okay, and then, yeah, we can take this knight out too. And also this pawn. And just give them a check. Let, let's keep doing this until they start doing something different. Oh, 
Oh, so that's what happens. The game's counted as a draw. Well, let's try this again, but this time let's uh, actually defeat the enemy. So yeah, same strategy as before. Un unleash our bishops, then, which also means sacrificing them. Yeah, always make sure which of your units are in the proximity to your enemy's units. Yeah, I usually try to go for the eliminations as quickly as possible. Okay, now let's put the pawns into a zigzag pattern. this bishop safe right now so we can start moving this knight around and let's move this other knight around too let's make the rook defend the pawn Yeah, this pawn's going to be stuck here, so let's move this pawn forward then. Okay, I'm moving the queen here because I'm about to use my knight to target the other knight. But now, yeah, and there goes the pawn. And now, queen versus queen. Because usually they're willing to sacrifice their queen just to get rid of mine. But at this time they're not. So instead, let's do knight versus knight. Okay, so now their bishop is targeting my rook. So let's move the rook to safety. Well, you could also do this. Switch them places. I'm going to watch out for this queen right here. Yeah, let's use our bishop to take theirs out. And then use this queen to take out their pawn. So it's going to be safe right here. Oh, and there it goes. Now let's just keep the queen right here for now, and well if I move the rook to take this pawn out then it will be in danger to their king. So how about I just 
move the rook right here I'm kind of just making random movements. Now we've both lost our queens, and then now, well, let's keep this rook over here, but now we're going to move our pawns forward. It's not, um, we're going to not let them take any more pawns. Now pawns are the only ones we have left. And I'm going to use the king to try to take out the, that pawn all the way on the left side. But now they're probably going to start moving their rook around. Yeah, now they're using the rook to defend their pawn. cornering the rook Yeah, they're running out of ideas. They're getting desperate. But now they're going to get one of their pawns all the way on to or side and I think we're gonna uh, get checkmated pretty soon And they're going to get another pawn onto our side pretty soon. All there is to do is to make the, the king move back and forth. And then I'm going to get checkmated this next move. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been able to consistently beat level 3 yet. Uh, 
Uh, but anyways, we yeah we need to release all of our um, all of our units as quickly as possible. and use every opportunity to take out enemy units and yeah we can start moving this knight forward okay so their, their bishops just targeting one of my pawns to see if I can take out their queen somehow. And now both of us don't have any more of our bishops left. <laughs> so now let's see what we can do with this knight. Oh. Well, let's move it back to safety then. Let's move our pawns forward. And I like the sound effect from when when units get destroyed. Yeah, now we're gonna lose either a rook or a queen, so let's lose the rook. And now they're gonna lose uh, one of their... Then this pawn will be defenseless to their queen. Alright, let's move our queen over here and then see if they sacrifice theirs, and they do. Now we're defending both our pawns. And now the, the rook can start moving around.
Well, if I use this knight, then the knight will be in danger to the enemy's knight. So, let's keep the knight right here for now. There's not much left to do. Let's try to keep my rook safe. It's the only strong unit I have left. Yeah, let's use the king to defend the pawn. Now I'm gonna take out one of my pawns. I still have other pawns.
Well, since I still have one queen left and that the queen's completely invincible from the king, I, I think I can tr trap the enemy king. Wait, it's counted as a draw. Well, why is it counted as a draw and not as a win though? Because the enemy king doesn't have any more moves they can make. Well, I guess this is the best result we can get then. Well, next time we're going to be playing on an even higher difficulty. How about difficulty level 5? See ya.